Hey guys, so this is Jazzy right here and I'm back for another reading. Um, today I'm reading for... You didn't give me your name, you just I just have your Instagram name. And it's... Why B? I can't pronounce this. I'm not even going to try. I don't want to butcher your name. But I'm just going to call you V. Can I call you V? We're going to call you V. So V actually did a... Um, he took one of my pictures and he edited it for me. And he sent it to me on my birthday. And I really appreciate that. Thank you. Because it, it was raw. And I'm kind of into that stuff too. And I'm trying to figure out like how to like really do it. So I can start editing my own pictures. Because <laughs> I, 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 I need to know the apps and all that. I don't know any. So but anyway, he wanted me to do a reading. And I'm going to do his reading. Um, again, if you want a um, birth chart reading, um, it's $20. Um, if you have questions with the birth chart, it's five dollars per question. Or if you just have questions about us, like about like the planets or whatever, five dollars. Like if you just want to know what your Mercury is, like what it means, five dollars. Okay. So, but let me go ahead and show you your chart. Excuse me. Um. So this is your chart um it's sagittarius for sun your moon is gemini your mercury is also sagittarius your venus is scorpio your mars is virgo and your ascendant is libra and if you look over here your masculine your feminine energy is four or six i will explain that don't you worry don't you worry okay i got you covered all right so without further ado let's get started it's getting kind of hot out here Okay. Anyway, um, so let's talk about Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, you're the first Sagittarius. Wow. <laughs> okay, so Mercury. Wait, no, my bad. <laughs> Sagittarius, it is your Mercury, but let's talk about your sun sign. So your sun sign is who you are. It's your overall personality. So it's Sagittarius is a masculine sign. It's a fire sign. As you know, or maybe you didn't know, um, it's a mut it has a mutable quality. So when when first of all, signs with mutable quality is Pisces, Gemini, Virgo, and Sagittarius, which means you can easily adapt to things. It's just it comes naturally to adapt. Um, you tend to switch a lot, and you tend to be all over the place, maybe because <laughs> the energy is just it's going whatever way it's. You know, you go whatever the wind is going. That's where the that's where the energy is going. You know, so very, very, very adaptable. Um, its polar opposite is Gemini, <laughs> my sign, and they say you're supposed to end up marrying your polar opposite. I don't think this is true because me and Sagittarius men do not get along at all. I've talked to two of them and they're too aggressive to me. They're too passionate and too aggressive for me. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it, but yet I want, I, but yet my crush is a Leo, so I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> but no, Sagittarius is, is, is too much. It's too much. Um, I like Sagittarius's, but nah, I don't think we'll get married. No. Um, it's plan is Jupiter, so Jupiter is the plan of optimism and good luck. So, what can I say about Sag? Sagittarius are very happy people for the most part. Optimistic, positive, unless they're going through stuff. But they're positive for the most part. They, they know how to see things from an optimistic perspective. You know, um... They can be, they are like some of the realest people you'll ever meet because they, one thing I can say about Sagittarius is don't, like, don't ask a Sagittarius any opinion or any question because they're going to tell you how they feel. Not even how they feel, they're going to tell you the truth, not even an opinion, it's going to be the truth. Because I'm not saying Sagittarius is don't lie because that's why I don't, I, I don't like Sagittarius men because y'all lie. Y'all do lie. But you can't lie. That's the difference between Gemini men and Sagittarius men. Gemini men can lie and they can stretch a lie out for as long as they possibly can. And you'll never know they're lying. 
Gemini's, I mean, Sagittarius men or just Sagittarius period cannot lie. Like they're horrible liars. They cannot cheat. Sagittarius will lie in your face and the proof is right, right there in front of them. Like it's right there in front of you. They can lie and the proof is right there. They're just bad liars. So not saying, well, then again, your moon is Gemini. So you, you, you might can lie, maybe. But Sagittarius is, no, they cannot lie. Um, Sagittarius is, are honest. They're honest, but sometimes it can come off as brutal because that's just Sagittarius, you know, because they tell the truth. They don't lie, you know. Not, again, Jazz, they do lie. <laughs> they just can't lie. You know, like chat series can't see on the test, they'll get caught. Like they just they just not good at lying. Sagittarius just love to travel. They love to they don't like to sit on their asses all day. They like to, they like to travel the world and you know, don't be surprised if, if I wouldn't be surprised if you have more than one job or if you have a job but you have tons of hobbies, which you do because you do the the editing, the, the photo editing. So you probably do have a job. But you probably do some photo editing and you probably take pictures, which I think you do. So you're into a lot of stuff. You're always busy. Okay. You're never it's if Sagittarius is at home all day, they're they must be depressed about something. Because Sagittarius is always out doing stuff. My aunt is a Sagittarius, she has two jobs. Like I had a friend that was a Sagittarius, two jobs. I dated somebody who was Sagittarius, two jobs, plus he rapped. So I'm like he like Sagittarius just stay busy. They stay, stay. They're busy, 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 busy bees. Okay. They they like to travel the world and travel. Period. They're into a lot of things, a lot of different things, and they're passionate people. Passionate people, um, fiery, but not. They don't. They don't like to take everything serious, which I'll get into when it comes to Mercury. They don't like to take things too serious. In fact, I I call Sagittarius the runaway the runaway bride and the runaway groom because. They tend to run away from things a lot because they don't like things that's too serious. Not saying they can't get, be in serious relationships. They can, but it takes a lot for a Sagittarius to sit down. Like Sagittarius, they will make great musicians and, and 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 you know go on tours and stuff like that. Like that, that's like the perfect sign right there be, to to do that because they travel a lot. <laughs> like they can't sit down. Like they never sit down. They can't. So your moon is Gemini. So moon is how we express our emotions. And so moon is, I mean, you know, Gemini is a masculine sign. It also has the mutable quality. It's an air sign. Um, it's polar opposite. It's Sag. I want, that, that's interesting. <laughs> um, it's um, planet. Its ruler is Mercury, which is a planet of communication. Um, when your moon is Gemini, you have a hard time expressing your emotions because Geminis are always happy people. Geminis are like, I'm a Gemini and I'm not being biased. Geminis love like positivity, love to have see people have fun, love to have fun themselves. And you gotta remember, Gemini is the youngest of the zodiac, so they don't take anything serious. It's like Sag, like they don't take anything serious. But Sagittarius is, they know when to take stuff seriously. Gemini's don't okay they just don't okay um so they don't really take their emotions too seriously it really takes the right person to like push a Gemini to the limit to where emotions are being seen and when they realize that they're emotional Gemini's are not ones that don't piss off a Gemini that's why you don't piss a Gemini off because Gemini doesn't understand their emotions it's kind of like Pisces well, I ain't gonna say Gemini don't understand. I feel like Gemini can't, they can't understand their emotions. But they're not ones to piss off because they're like, they don't like to show negative emotions, at least negative ones. Um, but Gemini's choose that motorcycle. Gemini's, for the most part, when it comes to their emotions, they say that Gemini's are cold. That's not true. It's just that Gemini's, they just don't take anything serious. That's the best way I can put it. But um, you probably, I don't want to say you tend to hide your emotions because you're a Sagittarius. So I know you don't hide them, but you probably just don't express them as, as, as much as you probably should. Okay. I mean, you'll let people know how you feel, but you, you don't really like show your anger and stuff like that. You communicate, but you don't really show emotions that much when you communicate. Um... So your Mercury is Sagittarius as well. So 
Sagittarius is, they are like the philosophers of the Zodiac. They like to have deep conversations. They love to talk about the world and all this and all that and everything. <laughs> everything. Sagittarius just love to debate, have debates. Sagittarius are into politics. Like, like debating about politics, that's like amazing for a Sag. Especially if you know what you're talking about. Um, but here's the thing with Sag. Sagittarius don't like to argue. Debating is one thing, but arguing is another. This is why they don't really make the best politicians. Because that, they, they, they turn into an argument. <laughs> But, um, I mean, they, they I, I, well, they do, but at the same time, they don't. Because, like I said, sometimes the debates will go too far, and then they argue, and then Sash will drop out the race, because it's, it's just a lot. <laughs> they don't like to take things, or they, they don't like to take things seriously. So, you're probably the type of person, if somebody's debating with you about what's going on in the world, you'll debate with them, but if it turns into an argument, or it's just, it's too deep, then you're like, okay, I'm, I'm going to back off because you have your opinions, I have mine. Because Sagittarius are very strong in their opinions and they have their own opinions and they don't care what anyone else thinks. They're not going to change their opinions. They are able to understand other people's opinions, but they're not changing theirs. So, you probably, you don't like to argue. You like to debate, but you don't like to argue. And you do like to talk about politics and, and things like that and just have deep conversations about the world and stuff like that. Um, your Venus is Scorpio. Okay. <laughs> so, um, Ve Scorp Venus is how we love and how we sh show love and what attracts us. So, Scorpio is a water sign. It's feminine. Um, it's mutual. It's, it's quality is fixed. So, when you have a fixed quality, it just means it's kind of hard for you to adapt to things. It's not, it doesn't come by naturally. And it takes a, you only can adapt to it if you want to. Um, and, yeah. Uh, so, Scorpio is ruled by two plants, which is Mars and Pluto. I'm sorry. My mind drew a blank. Pluto. So, Mars is the planet of aggression and Pluto, uh, aggression and sex. And Pluto is the planet of darkness and death. So, um, and it's uh, opposite is Taurus. So, Scorpios, when they fall in love, it's it can get deep. It's 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 it's, it's, it's very emotional for you. So you are an emotional lover, meaning when you are emotionally connected with someone, you that's it. There is no turning back. You would do anything for that person, and you expect that person to do it to you. Because a biggest this a Scorpio's biggest fear. But um, a big, a Scorpio's biggest fear is betrayal. So, um, you expect the partner to love you and love you back. And it takes a lot for you to fall in love because Scorpios are very guarded. And Scorpios, you know, they not only have to trust their partner, but they have to trust themselves and trust their own instincts. So, um... Yeah, so you probably, you know, your partner probably has to work with you in order, you know, you don't, you don't really let on too much in the beginning, which is kind of, maybe you trust me, because Scorpios, I don't know, with, with Scorpios, or if you have Scorpio on your chart, they trust me, they open up to me easily, and I think it's just because of the energy, I make people feel comfortable, I guess, but usually Scorpios don't, they don't open up to people very easily. So, you definitely want a partner that you can trust, they trust you, they love you, and they have that same emotional attachment, okay? Now, your Mars is um, Virgo. So, Mars is, um, it's work ethic, aggression, sex. So, this kind of go. it kind of goes with your, um, Venus, um, so Virgo is a um, feminine sign as well. It's an earth sign. It has a mutable quality, so you're able to adapt to things um, when it comes to your work ethic and things like that. Um, it's opposite is Pisces, and its planet is Mercury. So you're able to communicate very well. You know, you have two planets that are represented by um, Mercury, so you're you're a good communicator. Um, 
So, let's talk about your work ethic. So, your work ethic, you have a pretty good work ethic. Virgos, period, have a good work ethic. They are perfectionists. They um, will perfect their craft. Their, you know, it may take them a little while, but they'll perfect it, you know, within time. Um, they're not really doing things. They don't really do things for money. They do things just for the fun of it. If they get paid for it, that's good. That's good. But yeah, it's not like Capricorn when they do everything for money. Okay, it's not like Capricorn. Um, your anger. It takes a lot for you to get angry, but you're not one to play with. You're not one to mess with. If someone pushes you to that limit, Virgos will only attack if they're personally, like only when they feel attacked. Like if you like if you physically attack them, or if you verbally attack them, that's when Virgo will come at you. But um, yeah, so Virgos, you're not one to mess with. You you attack if somebody attacks your pictures and say you're not talented or whatever. Yeah, whatever they could they come they attack you personally like they accuse you of something you didn't do or you're on your own attack mode you know that's when virgo would attack if they feel personally attacked um other than that virgos are pretty chill humble for the most part you know they don't do too much um now when it comes to sex i'm not going to talk about what you're into because Virgos are into some, they're into whatever their partner is into at that time. So, and with you being a Sagittarius, like you're into a lot of stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just checking again. But you're into a lot of stuff because you're a Sagittarius. So, Virgo is into whatever their partner is into. Virgo wants to please their partner. So, Virgo, you know, if, if, if your partner wants to tie you down, oh, you're down. I'll do whatever it takes and plus Sag is down anyway <laughs> so but they doing sex Virgos tend to or if you have Virgo in your chart they tend to ask a lot of questions not to get some sort of validation but just to see what their partner likes so they know like how to do it the next time they have sex because they want to they want to please their partner so you know I'm sorry I'm just I'm having some kind of thoughts in my head but Yes, um, Virgos are people pleasers, so you will do whatever it takes to please your partner. So, this dog is barking at me. But anyway, let's talk about your um, masculine and your feminine. So your masculine is four and your feminine is six. So your masculine energy represents physical energy. While your feminine energy represents mental and emotional. So this tells me that you're probably way more mental than you are physical. Not not too far off because the goal is you want to be balanced. That's the ultimate goal. So you kind of know where you... I guess it, it kind of goes because like you're into like pictures and you, it seems like you have... A thing for the arts so no it's not shocking that your feminine is slightly higher than your masculine but you do like to travel and you do like to check you do like to travel and you do like also i wanted to say to brandell um i don't know if you work but if you do work you would rather work at the job don't mind the dog it's not my dog my neighbor's dog but um you probably would rather work at a job that requires you to be active like you don't have a problem with working at a job that doesn't require you to be act doesn't require you to be active but you would rather work a job that requires you to move around a little bit you know but you don't mind you don't mind working a job that's it requires you to sit all day you know so i don't know if that applies to you or not but yeah it's just like Derek's. it's just like Derek's. so I just want to say that, you know, because I forgot to add that in. So, I'm going to add that in at the end. So, again, if you guys want that couple video, hit me up. Um, we can negotiate. I may just give it to you on the house because I would like to see what this is like. Like, to do, like, an actual couple's reading. Like, let me know. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye. The camera turned off on me. But you do like to travel and you do you can be active but you're probably way like you probably would rather take pictures and, and edit and stuff like that than to go out and and to be active doesn't necessarily mean oh well 
I work out. It could be you just going out and, and, and going for walks and stuff. Or if you have a job, like you probably don't mind working at a job that requires you to be physical, but you probably would rather not work at that job. <laughs> but you can, you know. I mean, I hope this this helps. Um, thank you for trusting me with your chart. Um, if you have any more questions, let me know. Um, if you have any questions about the chart, like how does this help me with love, or what should what should I be doing? Five dollars per question. Um, and yeah, and I'll see you when I see you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get three hundred subscribers by the time the summer ends. So I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Bye.